Hey there guys, it's your girl Tanisha and welcome back to my channel Tanisha W. Like always, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You know, I will love y'all forever. So today, your girl is doing a wig review and I don't think I've ever done a wig review ever on my channel so far because I've always made my own wigs and I don't really buy any wigs. So yeah, first time for everything. And the place I got my wig from is AliExpress. It is a headband wig, which is really a half wig if you really think about it. Anyway, I'm here to review it for you guys. So it's kind of going to be like an unboxing even though I already opened it up. So it's an unboxing for you guys. How about that? So the vendor is OYM Hair Store and I got a 180 density 12 inch headband wig from them. Um, I think I paid roughly under $80 for this. I'm not entirely sure if you guys care, which I'm sure you will. I will put the link down below. So let's just get into this, shall we? Okay, so we have the bag here. Sorry for the noise. This is exactly how it came out of the packaging. It shows here that it's, oh, sorry. It shows here that it's 12 inches and there's some extra stuff in here. So let's, let's see what we got, okay? Okay, so we've got a headband in a navy blue floral print kind of color, so that's cute. Purpose of the headband wig, you can like switch up your headbands, tie up your hair, depending how long the hair is, etc. Um, this is a wig cap, a mesh wig cap is what it came with in here. And it's showing you how to use it if you guys care to use it. And you have a bunch of these little like tiny um rubber bands in different colors i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with this but it's cute it's a little piggy this is hi my name is happy so hi happy how you doing okay so now we got the wig so the wig comes like this it's in mesh and it's 12 inches okay so this is the wig it's 12 inches look at it go yeah babe. oh my god almost gonna close on here <laughs> yes girl Shake that. It's human hair. Here is the headband that is all around the wig. You can see the detailing. They got some combs in there. There seems like a comb on the side. Another comb on the side. A comb at the back, which is good. And it has this Velcro thing at the back to secure. So <laughs> that's cool too. So I'm going to put my hair in that wig cap and try it on for you because that's what you want to see oh damn you're not supposed to see that <laughs> okay i'm gonna just secure it at the back i'm gonna pull it back oh my god let's push that back too hide that in the sides so we have the wig on and honestly it's okay <laughs> like it's cute the concept is cute maybe if i push it back a bit but like i would have to push all my hair back maybe if my hair was braided down it would look better but like i left my edges out i kind of like um laid my edges a bit because it seemed like the best thing to do with these wigs so it looks a little bit natural but like i don't know i just don't like the length of it i just feel like there's it looks kind of straggly at the ends let me give you a back view okay so i try to straighten it out a bit because like i like the hair i like the wig i like how the hair feels it's very soft very silky, very smooth. However, I'm not liking the dead ends, relaxed ends kind of. Like the hair kind of looks like when you relax your hair, knowing damn well you're not supposed to relax your hair and it's all just like fried at the end. It's just bringing back bad flashbacks of how my hair used to look when it was damaged. And now my hair is not like this. Thank, thank you, Jesus. But like, that's what it's giving me. Like it's not full enough at the base of the hair like honestly this the whole wig ordering situation i ordered three wigs in total and none of them came how i expected them to be because honestly 
I thought when you order 12 inches, it was 12 inches of the actual hair. But no, 12 inches is from the top to the bottom how the hair is supposed to be measured. So I didn't know that. I was assuming that, okay, there is at least the bundles itself for like 12 inches of the wig that you're, that you're ordering, but no. So no to support my little argument of hair I bought in the past, we have a 10 inch wig here that I bought from AliExpress back in 2019. Now I have a measuring tape here. This is 10 inches. So if you were to measure from the top to the bottom, that's how long the hair was supposed to be according to these three wigs that I've ordered. But this one is 10 inches, but it obviously comes way past the 10 inch mark. So had I ordered this wig this year, this hair probably would have been up there, which is ridiculous. I don't know if this is a new thing, but nobody told me this. And luckily this didn't betray me, so it should be good. Oh, if you guys care to review this, I haven't reviewed this. I will if you guys care. I'm not gonna lie, this hair is cute, but it's giving me soccer mom, mom PTA meeting kind of hair, and that's not cute. I'm gonna add some inches to this hair and trim it accordingly because it needs a va va boom and I wanted to put my hair up in styles. Like you can do like high up ponytail hairstyles like this to the side, but the hair is too little. Like it's giving me damaged hair vibes and my hair, well my hair is damaged. This hair should not look damaged. I bought hair, why does it look damaged, you know? So this brings us to the end of my video. I'll put the link down below where I got the hair from. I have any comments or concerns? How about your girl? If you want to drop some knowledge about wigs, help your girl because the Lord knows I'm still learning. I don't know nothing. So thank you for watching, guys, and deuces.